Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 101 of the FIFA 21 My Player Career. And as you know, we are with Chelsea. We are into the semi-finals of the Europa League and we're actually taking on Spurs in the second leg today. They absolutely destroyed us in the first leg, winning two goals to nil, as you can see at the bottom there. Um, so we have got a lot of work to do if we are going to be heading into the final of this competition. Remember, Kai is currently a Champions League winner. Um, so we want to add the Europa League to that as well. And, but it's not looking good, is it? But we do have an early free kick here for Chelsea. Fabino. it was, getting himself a yellow card after just four minutes of this game kicking off. Uh, so can we take advantage of that? It was, in fact, Kai who got tackled and taken down there. Uh, so a bit of a danger area for Spurs. Let's see what Chelsea can do here. And it's off target. Over the crossbar there by Kai Havertz. And Chelsea still with more work to do. 6.2 rating then for Kai in the early stages of this game. Obviously, get himself a goal um, and that will jump up um, as soon as possible, hopefully. Play to watch. Number 52, Kai. Is he going to have any say, any influence at all on this game as Kane plays that one over the top for Lucas Moura? And, of course, he was offside. So, six and a half minutes gone. Pretty um, quiet first 10 minutes so onwards we go as Tottenham try and get themselves another goal of course if they do get a goal they're going to have a three goal advantage two away goals added to that as well which means Chelsea are going to need to score four goals so we cannot afford conceding a single goal here uh, but we are in possession and here is Bakayoko was that to Kai Kai is he going to run through the middle? He plays it in the middle, well, that's for sure. Gets it back there from Havertz. And now the space is on. Kai, look at this link up play between Kai and Kai Havertz. And Chelsea have pulled a goal back. So on aggregate, it is now Tottenham 2, Chelsea 1. And of course, that is an away goal. So we need one more to um, rule out Tottenham's 2 away goal advantage. Good ball here. I thought Kai Havertz was going to take that shot off himself, but... He was unselfish, played it straight through there for Kai, and there he is to score his 12th Europa League goal of the season. And now Chelsea are actually pushing forward here for another goal. Here is Kai, the danger man, the man to watch that everybody was saying before the kickoff. And that's a good ball out wide to Kante. Crosses there, but so to the defender. Kai couldn't react to the second ball as it dropped onto the floor, and Tottenham do get the ball back. So. Very, very close there for Chelsea to tie things up. Kai's got a, a long-range free kick. Plays it short. Good ball inside there for Havertz. Now, Delot. Yanazai crosses. The shot is on somehow. Kai Havertz. He's leveled things up on aggregate. Less than half an hour have gone here at the London... No, not the London Stadium. It's on the Tottenham Stadium. And it's all square. Can Chelsea push on then and get another goal to get us through to the Europa League final? A little bit of luck went our way with that deflection off the back of the Tottenham defender. Went straight into the path of Kai Havertz and he was there to score his 11th Europa League goal of the season. And of course to get Chelsea back onto level terms. Five minutes to play in the first half. It's all square now in the tie. Kai's on a 9.1 match rating. And let's see if we can push on any more before the half-time interval begins. Here is Rousselon. Plays that one forward for Kai. He has support in the middle. Finds him. Kai Havertz. What's he going to do with it? He's going to lay it back to Rousselon. Out wide to Kante. Why does Kante play out wide on the left so much here in the blue of Chelsea? Played that one through for Kai. And now Havertz. He finds the back of the net. The near post finish. And he was onside. So it is going to count. On the stroke of half time, Chelsea have absolutely flip flopped this tie and they now lead three goals to two. And they have the away goal advantage as well. Three away goals for Chelsea, which means now, as things stand, we lead by three goals to two, three goals to nil on the night. And Tottenham need two goals if they are going to be going through to the next round. Harry Kane then for Spurs plays it out wide. Is he going to get it back though? Burwine. Sees the run of Kane, but for some reason goes back out wide. Again, another run in the middle. This time it's found. Royce with the cross. The shot was blocked there by the goalkeeper. And Lucas again with the second effort. But thankfully, 
Chelsea defenders in the right place at the right time and get the ball clear. Less or yeah, less than 25 minutes remaining. And Chelsea are in control as things stand. What a comeback this has been for Chelsea. They were ruled out at the start of this match, but they've fought their way back into the tie. Now leading by three goals to two. 20 minutes remaining on the clock. Let's jump into the final five then. And Chelsea are looking for a fourth. Get another goal and that will surely wrap this one up. But it is Spurs who pick up that loose ball in midfield. They need to score now. If they're going to have any chance, that's a good ball over the top. If it's kept in play, that is, which it is. He has support. Harry Kane's closest. He's found. The cross comes in far post. The defender was there. The shot blocked and saved yet again by the Chelsea goalkeeper. And how vital is that going to be as the final whistle blows in on the night? Chelsea take it three goals to nil away from home. And we are into the final of the Europa League. What a fantastic performance by every player in a blue shirt. And as you can see, the Spurs players very, very disappointed with their result and their effort. And as you can see there, the other semi-final did end 0-0, which means we are going to be taking on Juventus in the Europa League final. Roma, it is who go out. So a couple of games then to finish off the season. We have how many? Three more games, in fact, in the Premier League. We're going to play one today. And then tomorrow's episode will, of course, be the season finale, where we will play the final two Premier League games. And then, of course, the uh, I was going to say Champions League final there, but it's not the Champions League final. It is, of course, the Europa League final against Juventus, where we want to be lifting some more silverware. I don't think we've got a chance on lifting the Premier League title. Maybe we will have a quick look at the end of this match to see where we stand in the Premier League standards. But of course, we need to go on and get this win here against Nottingham Forest. We've got to be the big favourites right now. We're in fantastic form in both the Cups and, of course, the Premier League. Uh, but that stands for nothing when you're up against one of the lowest teams in the league. They're always fighting for something, whether it be survival um, or just pride and uh, good win there by I think that's Kante winning the ball back for Chelsea back in the middle here for Kai sees a run and that's nice to play through Havertz he scores the opening goal of this match and gives Chelsea the one goal lead less than the half now played and Nottingham Forest I can't see them coming back into this game as Kai Havertz as he usually does runs over to Frank Lampard too um, just thank him for what a season and the loyalty is placed in Havertz. And look at that. Every time Kai drops off, Kai Havertz is there to run into that striking role. And there he is to score his 10th Premier League goal of the season. Scored more in the Cups. Uh, but of course, 10 goals from a midfielder cannot be um, looked down upon. That's for sure. Kai still the, uh, the top scorer in both the league. And of course, for Chelsea, as Havertz is there to claim a second goal. I thought for a second Kai was going to be adding um, to his goal tally for the season. He's already the Premier League record goal scorer this season with, I think, 33 or 34 goals. Um, and I thought, as I said, he was going to be adding to that right there. But it was Haberts who got in there just ahead of him. Probably because he is an inch or two higher or taller than Kai. Let's have a look. Yeah, it was going towards Haberts more so than Kai. But we'll take it. It is a goal for Chelsea, nevertheless, less than a half an hour, um, sorry, just over half an hour remaining as there's going to be a couple of changes here for Chelsea. And I believe that's going to be the end of Kai's game. He does need a little bit of a rest, especially with the important games coming up. So we'll give him a little bit of rest. Hopefully in the next games he'll be fully fit. But do we hold on to that two goal advantage? We do indeed. It does end two goals to nil after 90 minutes. So, as I said, a quick look at the Premier League table. We are currently in the top four, which is where we wanted to be, of course. Um, a little bit of a way off from the title challenge, though. We need to win both of our games and then, of course, have the teams above us lose all of theirs, which I don't see happening. But we just want to secure the top four and then be in the Champions League for next season. Now, we do have Leicester City. I think what we're going to do here is sim this game. Uh, let's sim this game. That will be a nice way to end today's episode. You can see the players there. Look at them. They're all tied compared to the Chelsea team, who are more or less all fully fit. So let's sim it. 
and hopefully it doesn't hurt us. We want the three points. Come on, lads, give us a three points. Oh, a pretty convincing win there for Chelsea. Four goals to nil. As you can see, Kunha got two. Kai adding to his goal tally as well. Not sure who got the fourth there. But here are the final games. We have one more Premier League game to play. We have the FA Cup game to play against Manchester City. And then we have the Europa League final against Juventus to look forward to. So, could we be he heading to two more pieces of silverware at the end of the season? Hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.